I've crossed into Iran, one of the least understood countries in the world. I'm met at the border by my father, who has just flown in from Canada. The Iranian government requires Canadian citizens to hire a private guide and driver, so we'll be traveling by private car across Iran. Our first stop is the ancient mud brick village of Kang. Many of its residents have moved into the cities in search of better opportunities, leaving the place partly abandoned. Some people still remain here though, and one of them invites us into her family home for herbal tea, which she collects from the wild plants that grow on the nearby hills. She lives here with her husband, mother, and three children. There are still some people here, but it probably won't be long until Kang turns into a ghost town. Not far away, in the city of Mashhad, is the tomb of Imam Reza, the most important Shia Muslim pilgrimage site in Iran. The walls glitter with a mosaic of mirrored tiles. The nearby tomb of Ferdowsi, the grandfather of Iranian literature, attracts pilgrims of Persian poetry. As everywhere else in the East, the young ladies seem to find me irresistible. I hope all of this attention doesn't go to my head. Well, here I am. I'm just west of Mashhad in Iran. Made it exactly halfway around the world, 56 degrees east. Uh, so this is it. This is the antipode of Vancouver. Um, I guess it's time to keep going. My father, guide, driver, and I all head west into Iran's vast central desert. Here's a sign marking the place where a freak sandstorm downed an American helicopter in 1980. This guy's late father built a wooden mosque in the middle of nowhere as an attraction, and now he's fixing it up for tourists who I doubt will ever come. A desert oasis provides the life-giving water for this traditional Persian garden. We stop for a few nights in Yazd, one of the oldest continuously occupied cities in the world. Wind towers provide a sort of natural air conditioning here, and water is brought in from miles away through hand-dug underground conduits. In the evening, we decide to attend a session of Zirkane. It's a sort of multidisciplinary fitness class, combining music, dance, poetry, strength training, and balance. I can see this becoming the next fitness craze back home. I'm exhausted just by watching it. The city of Shiraz is home to the tomb of Hafiz, probably Iran's most revered poet. You can have your fortune told here by allowing a canary to select one of his verses at random. Our guide kindly offers to translate it for me. You've had many encumbrances in your life. Be persistent in achieving your goal. Always try looking at the bright side. Endeavor to assist whoever desperate in need. And you have heard many different things from different people and you will hear more. And it's not gonna be to your harm. Before leaving Shiraz, a friend sends over some contraband, a bottle of homemade Shiraz wine. It's the worst wine I've ever tasted but the setting couldn't be better. <laughs> 